You know, we we see that constantly. You know, we've seen it with a with an Air Force veteran by the name of Joe Cobbs about uh, almost eight years ago, I believe. His wife abandoned him because he went blind. Okay, she didn't want to take and uh, go through all the struggles. So he raised his two daughters, sent them to college, just successful now. And this is an ongoing thing. It's not only that your disability compensation is being squandered away by uh, the civil courts, but also you have to face the fact that family members don't want to be by you. One, because of post-traumatic stress. The other is maybe blindness, cripple, or again, like Ernie, a stroke. A stroke. Picture this. You, you or your wife, it could have to either or, is laying there in the middle of the road, bleeding. You don't want to take care of her or him because you don't want to bother with that or maybe you're too scared so you just walk away from it. Hey, could this be you too? You know, being abandoned is a big thing. Abandoned because that veteran sacrificed his life to go into a, a, an area that meant helping others and also the security of our nation. This is a big issue. I get choked up myself because um, post-traumatic stress is, a, is probably one of our biggest uh, diseases that we have. Not only facing Asian Orange and issues like that, but post-traumatic on top of being abandoned is the killer. Suicide, homeless, this is what happens. So we need you out there to understand that um, our disability compensation has to be protected. You know, if the individuals that are our attorneys, our judges, our legislative U.S. representative can't understand why we're doing this. But look at it like this. 1828, the Revolutionary War, this was adapted and is still affected. Who created that law? Who created those monies to be given to the individuals? It was our Congress. Whether our Congress is 20 years old today or 90 years old from the past, they're a part of the 1828 uh, laws. Is no, no, no. Ernie, thank you so much. Uh, Operation Fine for Effect and Veterans Vets and Connection uh, throughout the nation um, yes. that we work with others. We work as brothers and sisters. The, yes. the animosity, we don't want that. We want a bonding team to be successful in this. I appreciate you so much for doing I, I, I would like to put one little... Uh, 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 Add, add one little piece to this. You know, I, I go to the VA hospital to, to get work done on my, my hearing and uh, my, my teeth and uh, 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 other things. And uh, a long, long time ago, you go to the VA hospital, you see guys in there, pretty bad shape. And when you're as good a shape as I am, you always go to the VA hospital, you see who's there getting the treatment, and you say, boy, aren't you lucky. And now, just like you said, in, in, in the old days, even when I first started going up there, there was no women in the VA hospital. And now you see just as many women messed up uh, uh, running the, the halls of the uh, uh, uh uh, the VA hospital trying to get their their uh, help and anything. It is unbelievable how many men, how many women are there now compared to what they were 15 years well, ago. There, there's 6,500 uh, homeless women at this time, uh, as we counted last couple of weeks ago. Uh, at this point, yeah. could be an increase on that, and it is about women as well as men. This is not just a, again too about the male or the female. It's about the veteran, <laughs> both one. It, it, it's happening to both, you know, and there's no way that you can deny that this disability compensation should not be protected. Congress is the ones that set the law and should not let it be destroyed by any civil courts whatsoever. Thank you, Gav. You're welcome. Sorry. Excellent.